Today we are going to take a look at how to create this spiral portal effect in Blender using a few map nodes. Let's see how we can create this spiral pattern. First we need a rectangular shape with a UV map like this. Then we take each of those X and Y values and add them together. This will give us values like this which has the same values diagonally. Then using a modulo math node, we can break those values into slices like this. Then we take that rectangle and bend it all the way like this and make a cylinder. And when you make one side like this and view it from the other end, we have our spiral. This is the technique we implement to create our spiral portal effect. Today I will use geometry nodes but you can use this same method inside the shade editor as well. So let's get started. Here I have Blender 3.4 beta. You don't need the beta version, any recent versions will work. But with a new viewer node in geometry nodes, I can visualize to you guys exactly what I am doing. So I stick with this version. But rather than starting with a rectangular shape as I showed you earlier, I will start with a cylinder. That will be the easiest way. So add a cylinder. We don't need the top and bottom sides. So set this to none. Now this cylinder already has the UV map we want under the name UV map. So we don't need to bother UV unwrapping this. Now let's rotate this. Apply the rotation and add some loop cuts. We need some resolution in the mesh to create the effect. Now select one side. Enable the proportional editing and turn it to something like this. Add subdivision surface modifier and let's rename this to portal. Now we are ready to create the node setup. First we need to access the UV map. Add a name attribute node and here we can find our UV map. Ctrl Shift click to get a viewer node. If you have Blender 3.3 or below version, you will not see this demonstration in the viewport. This is only available in 3.4 and above. So we need to add our X and Y values. Before that let's use a separate XYZ node to separate this vector into 3. Here you can see our x and y values. Let's add them together using add node. I duplicate that node and put it here and change the map type to modulo. You can see we have our spiral. When I set this value to 1, we get 1 spiral. 0.5 we get 2 and 0.25 we get 4. Let's set this to 0.5 for now. You might have noticed that the values we set here will affect the gradient values as well. When we set it to 0.5, these values go from 0 to 0 0.5, which is not very convenient. So I add a map range node and set the from max to 0.5. This will map our spiral gradient to go from 0 to 1. Now I add a color ramp and change it like this to get a smooth fall off between spiral. I use a float curve to smooth it even more. To make this spiral more dynamic, I add a math node to y axis before we add it to x. Change it to multiply add. Set the multiplier to 1 and this to 0 to get the previous results. Now what is happening is when I change the multiplier value, we can change the number of rotations we get and this second value will act like a phase offset value. To make it automatic, I add a scene time node and plug it into a multiply node and plug the output to here. This will make the movement automatic with the time and this multiplier value will decide the speed. By the way, be careful this could make you hypnotize. I mean, it happens in the cartoons. Now, you probably notice this modulo value needs to be specific. Any random numbers just not going to work. Also, this map range value needs to be changed according to it. 
Best way to make this easier is duplicate the modular node, change the math type to divide and set the first value to 1 and the second value to the number of spirals you need. Now plug this into these inputs. Now let's use this to create the spiral distortion. Before that I am going to flip the normals of my object. Inside is the most important for us when it comes to shading. So in the edit mode hit shift n to recalculate normals. Before we displace this I add more resolution to the mesh using subdivide node. To displace the mesh I add a set position node. Add a normal node and vector math multiply node and plug the spiral effect into the second socket. Use a vector map scale node to control the strength of our displacement. Plug this to offset. Turn down the scale to 0.1 and we have our spiral effect. We have a tiny bit of issue when we try to add an odd number of spirals. It is not visible in shading but will cause problems when we start displace the mesh. That is a one limitation of this method. I don't want this end part of the portal to displace so I will use our UV map like before and create a mass like this and multiply it with our spiral effect. Let's create a material. Add a set material node and assign it here. Before we move forward, I will extract these values for easy control. If you want to know how to properly extract values then check my lightning effect tutorial. I covered a few stuff there that help you to create more user-friendly GeoNode modifier. To create the portal material, I like to use the spiral effect we created. So let's add store name attribute node and store that data so that we can access it in the material. First I change my material blend mode to alpha blend. Turn off show back faces. Search for UV map node and select our UV map. And the same way as before, I create a mask like this and plug it into alpha. This will make those black areas transparent in the portal. Then we can use an attribute node and type our attribute name to access the spiral pattern we created in the GeoNode setup. Like that. Now it is all about using that value to create a different effects. Here I set the black areas to have transmission of 1 which makes that part looks like a glass. You can create different colors for emission, different roughness. Possibilities are limitless, you just have to find what you need. Let's create another material. Extract our material slot. Now change the material from here. This allows you to create multiple spiral portals and make them have different materials. That way you can make a completely different effect by combining all of those spiral portals. Let's create a simple method to make an opening to our other world. Add a circle and rotate it to face forward. Now Using texture coordinate and vector math length node, I will create a mask and make the edges transparent like this. Then I add an HDRI as an image texture and plug it into reflective socket. Set this projection type to sphere. Use a vector mapping node and change its value to make an illusion of an actual world on the other side. It might take some effort to find the best values.
Make your circle shape like a lens to make the edges look more distorted. When you move your camera around, your HDRI image will also move to give you that illusion of parallax. It is not perfect effect but it will do the job in most cases. To add some noise to our spiral effect, use a noise texture and add a color ramp to increase its contrast. Then mix it with our spiral effect. You can use different blending methods to get different results. To animate the noise texture, change the texture to 4D and just like before, use a scene time node with a multiply node and plug it to W socket. This will add some dynamic noise to our spiral pattern which then updates our material as well. So, I hope you learned something cool, something new, I mean, that's what we like to do. We not only create stuff, we let you play with us. All the project files and demo files are available for Patreon members. Hit the like button, comment your thoughts below and don't forget to subscribe to HelloFX Learn so you won't miss out when the next video drops. Until next time, see you later.